I'd always been I'd always been obsessed with sports um, since I was like three years old. My dad introduced me to me and my older brother. He's two years older than me, so you've immediately got someone else there who's who's into the same stuff and who, because they're a bit older, is obviously better at it. So that kind of that drives you on a bit. Um, I was I was good, but I wasn't that good. I wasn't going to be a professional or anything. So when when I left university, it's diff it's different now because things are the, the world's a more difficult place now for 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 young people um when i left university it was totally fine if you didn't have a plan so th this love of sport was always there in the background but i hadn't really thought that much about what i do for a career because you didn't really have to like it didn't you know you just didn't and if you studied medicine or whatever then you're obviously going to be a doctor or engineering then you're going to go and do that but if you did do a vocational degree then you could you could afford to take your time and have a bit of a, a think about it. Um, so I left and had a bit of a think about it. I did the civil service exams, but just to appease my mum really more than anything else, I didn't really want to do it. Um, I passed them, but I didn't really want to do it. I, I didn't hate the idea. I mean, if, if nothing else had happened, I, I, I would have done it. Um, and then I just thought, well, sport, you know, I've always loved sport. Um, I'm pretty confident when it comes to getting up and speaking and stuff like that. Why don't, you know, that people do do that for a living. So why not, why not check that out? And then when I did, I realized that it's one of these industries where certainly then there weren't really any qualifications you could do. You just had to try and get in there and do it, um, which is just a lot of phone calls. Um, and then once you're in, you, you just do what you can and see where it goes and, and and that that was it really um yeah it's not it's not something i thought about that much i mean i do i do speak to some people who you know they say oh i wanted to be a commentator since i was four or five years old and i'd sit in front of the tv um you know turn the sound down and drive my parents mad doing my own commentary i was never one of those i never did that um it was just something that um kind of came to me, I suppose, when I started to actually think about what I was going to do for a job.